Hey guys, today I am going to try and attempt to show you my whole collection of drag. However, I have tried to record this before more than once, and one of the times like my power went out and all my lights turned off, and then it, it just got too dark outside and my nephew walked in, and I have not had luck filming this. I'm trying so hard, so today I'm going to give a last ditch attempt in front of an open window, so as long as it doesn't start pouring, we should be okay light-wise. And I'm gonna just try to get through this as fast as I can, because I have a lot of stuff to show. We're gonna do it. So, first let me mention, if there is something that I don't show in here that you have seen in my drag looks on Instagram or something, chances are I just showed it with my regular clothes and it was just an object that I implemented into my drag for that specific look and I'm not showing jewelry or makeup or anything like that today it's gonna be just like clothing and harnesses and other accessories like that let's get started this isn't gonna be in any particular order it's just like how I can grab it so and I'll start with my only pair of drag specific shoes which are these heels they are from Wish, don't worry, they are all faux leather pleather. Just like that. Oh my god, it is starting to rain. Gotta go. And for the things where I show them to you and you're like, I have no idea how that looks on a human, I'm gonna put a little picture of me or a picture of a model or someone wearing it. This is my Beetlejuice jacket that I designed and made. I have a... Wednesday Adams dress. I have this dress. It's from Agassi. It was three dollars. <laughs> and it's all stuck together. Hang on. It's like a plasticky, pleathery kind of material with some mesh. I think it's really cool. Then I have this jacket, it started as like a regular suit jacket. I made it into more of like a structured blazer with a peplum kind of deal. So it looks like that. And then the back of it is open and then there's like a tool fake bustle. And it has a tie in case I wanted to wear it with a tie. I have this punky kilt style skirt. It's more of like a pencil skirt. It was made, well I made this, but I made it out of just some regular pants, so like some trousers. And then these are dog collars from like Publix. I have this checkered pencil skirt. And the closure is an o-ring and it zips like the whole thing. Other random items, I have a fan. Of course, very essential, especially for pride. I have a gay flag sweatband. A lot of my stuff is is pride related stuff because um, I would call myself more of like a social media queen but definitely also a pride queen. I am always at pride in full drag and I am really super decked out in all sort of pride gear. I have regular black gloves for when I don't do my nails. Just to be honest. <laughs> Obligatory skin tone tights. I have white and pink lacing. This is like interchangeable for my trans superhero look which I'll show. Alright, I have like regular full length fishnet tights. My trans flag actually ended up in here. And I wore wear this as a cape, so I guess it kinda counts. Here is a corset that I use for my trans superhero look. It's from Amazon, I wanna say. It doesn't do anything as a regular corset, it is more of like an elastic belt type material. This I'm including because this is what I wear when I get into drag. So I will dress in whatever outfit I'm wearing and then I put this on, which is just like a fake cheapy silk robe type of a deal. It's not real silk, don't worry. It was like $5. And then I put my makeup on so that none of the fall gets on my clothes. All right, this is from like a thrift shop kind of a deal in Asheville, North Carolina. And I don't know if I'm gonna, well, there's a picture of me wearing it, but not my full body. Basically, it is a really long mesh t-shirt. So it goes probably midway down my thighs and then on all the banding around it, it's just different city names like Paris, London, New York. These are thigh-high fishnets. Pride sweatband. 
more lacing. It's actually pretty important when you own a lot of boots and corsets and things if you want to change the colors out. All right, this is one of many leotards. This is from Wish. It is like an O-ring turtleneck closure. It's got a cutout on the shoulder. Yeah, it's a regular old leotard. And then I have an extremely basic one. This is more for, I don't know, it's like a staple or like a comfort style staple for performance. And it is literally just plain black long sleeve. This one has a very deep V. It goes to the waist. It's long sleeve and is also a leotard. All right, this is my favorite corset. It's from Amazon. I can't really remember like the brand and stuff, but I will look it up. And I've used this in like a bigger size and when I lost a lot of weight, I went and bought the same one. I have some fishnet gloves. My hair is a mess. I just got out of the shower and I kind of just, I don't do my hair. I just touch it and ignore it. We're really down to like bathing suits and uh, harnesses now. So I will get bathing suits off of like Wish and Amazon and stuff. And I use them as either undergarments for drag for like, you know, for creating, it's like shapewear almost because of like the structural integrity of a bathing suit. Um, other than that, I will pair it with like harnesses and stuff or I might pair it with a different kind of jacket and overwear and um, it gives a kind of like a more edgier, sexier vibe. So, um, yeah, that's kind of, that's my life hack, buying swimsuits and then making them or repurposing them into something else. This one is very basic. I use it for most things, actually. It's a high-waisted swimsuit bottom and then there's like a mesh panel in the side, although it's not super noticeable when I'm wearing it. This is the top that sort of goes with that. It didn't, it wasn't actually purchased with it, but it's like a sports bra type tank. It has a racer back and a mesh panel in the center. This bathing suit is from Wish as a set. And this is the top. It's got like a turtleneck and then just one strap in the back and then there's this whole panel in the front. And then the bottoms are like this. They like cross, like this is your, your body goes in like that and then they have like an X shape. All right, so I have some garters here. They have hearts on them and only one clip and then the back is elastic. They go pretty perfectly with a heart choker that I have. The rest of this is like straight up just harnesses, so I'll show them to you briefly, not like they're gonna look like anything. This will definitely be where the pictures come in handy. Alright, so this is like my lightest and most comfortable one. It's like a very non-sturdy elastic material, and it's a full body harness. It's from Wish. This one I will wear under things instead of on top. Usually I'm wearing my harnesses on top, but I wear this underneath. It is a pentagram chest harness. It's from Amazon. It's all elastic. This is the bottom that goes with that. It was bought separately, but basically it has like a side panel on the hip that is also a pentagram. I know you can like not see that at all, but it's like a garter that goes around the hips and then around the legs and then on the side there is the pentagram. This one is pretty cool and pretty involved. <laughs> so imagine this is the leg. Your thigh goes through here, and it's got these three straps, and then this comes around, and this sits on your hip right here, and then it uh, fastens in the front. So it's like a big leg cage type harness that's from Amazon. My mountain just fell over. <laughs> Last one I have to show you is a pretty simple chest harness that I pair with that last leg cage harness so it's just looks like this this will go what side okay <laughs> this goes around your neck and then it comes straight down your chest and then these two pieces fasten around the back of the body but yeah that's it so some of these things I implement in my everyday wear uh, depending on where I'm going what I'm doing or I might you know add some other stuff to this 
and the way that I mix and match is I think what makes my looks more interesting. But as you can tell from my drag style, lots of harness, lots of lace, lots of leather, um, lots of dark, sexy stuff. So you can see what kind of stuff I go for. I don't like to spend a lot of money on it. I don't have a lot of money to spend on it. Really, I just like to get things that I know that I can work with, that I know that I can make look more expensive, or I can pair with other things, or maybe I just buy them for the fabric and rip them up and make them into something else. I've done that plenty of times. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I <laughs> hope it was descriptive enough. Uh, if you are very interested in where I got one of these particular items, just let me know and I'll try to find it and link it to you. There are so many things here, I don't think that I'll make a link for every single thing, so just let me know if you're curious. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Please check out the links in the description. My Patreon specifically, it would mean a lot to me if you would support that or share it, whatever you can do. And check out my Instagram as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.